We're down here at the very beginning of August 2019. Just picking insects off plants. Pretty hot right here. There's not a lot of cover on that. If it was thicker. Also a pretty good, damn good place to find uh, Taylor Swift's too. There's a very pale spider zipping around there. Ants. Oh, there's a darkling right there at your toe. Yeah. This toe? Yeah, about a foot oh, forward. Right there, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, stink finger. He already had that. Stink finger. Dropping, dropping, falling. There's a bunch of darklings. Yeah, there is. A lot of ground beetles. Little dinky ones. Nothing worth seeing. Ants. Nothing worth seeing. Darklings. Oh, I gathered the darklings at least. Mm -hmm. We should flip that back over. Get that on the video. I'm not going to get sunburned today. <gasps> yes, you are. Nope. Not happening. A little bit of cloud cover. It should be okay. There's like a man-made structure on the front too. Yeah, well, they they uh, covered it up at one point, I bet, and then people just chipped away at it because they wanted to go in. But I mean, that would be a hard thing to find. Yeah, it would. If they covered it up, look at that tree just growing right over it. Wow, it's so cool. You gonna go in, John? Oh no, it's uh, it's got what two, three feet of water inside. Jesse's going. Oh. He's, he's got a snorkel in his backpack. He's doing this thing. Hello? I think there's a bunch of water scorpions in there, Jesse. I bet there is. <laughs> well, John's the pro at finding them. He can uh, dig them out, though. Oh, there's probably tails, hoop scorpions, and everything. Oh, yeah. I wonder how far back it goes. I'll bet it goes on forever. Here's one for you. That is a different kind of net wing beetle that I've never seen before. They don't have the black spots on them. They do not. And they're not as big. No. Wow, these are great. Riding off into the sunset. Local hangout for bees. Which one? Oh, it's pink. Okay. All right. Wow. There's two of them. I need that. It will be yours. Oh, yes. It will be yours. Oh, 
run to the shade. Did you catch it? I don't see it. Giving up? What you got? Nice, dude. You did it. Is that stuff just there? You did it. Sweet. Was it just on that tree? I said, come check this out. Yeah. So awesome. What'd you find? It's not pure malachite though. No, no, not like earth form. Is it actually in the rock or is that just runoff? I mean, it's part of the rock. Oh, cool. All the guys are back up there. I'm just walking down the road here. They'll come pick me up in a little bit. John's looking for rocks there near where that mine was. Got vining plants out here in the desert. We got these here, looks like. Some kind of fern, I think. And then I haven't even gotten close to this, but I could see this thing for quite a ways off. Mantis, right here. Hanging out, a little bit of shade. I can see it because coloration is just slightly different than the foliage around it and of course my eyes are pretty used to looking for mantises places we like to collect have these trees in common they all grow at and I an elevation ideal for beetles. We got this oak here. This over here is a juniper. Plant smells wonderful in the sun. One of my favorite smells is juniper needles baking in the sun. And then the other plant here, these pines. And uh, those three things, when you see those three things, you're in a pretty good place. One of the other things we do here in the desert, we look for things, plants that are different, blooming. I was with the idea that maybe something, some insect will be on it. Something we haven't seen before on something we haven't seen before. Not sure which kind, but the skipper butterfly is definitely enjoying this thistle. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but as it flew off, its wings made a pretty distinctive flapping sound. game here in the desert is eat or be eaten. I don't know if you can see it there yet, but we'll get as close as we can. Blending in very nicely. 
not sure what kind of butterfly that is. Reminds me a little bit of a wood nymph or a satyr, but doesn't mean much. Let's see how close it lets us get. Weird thing just happened. I thought a car was coming up the road, and so I went so far as to move myself over to the edge of the road as far as I could go, and no car came, and the noise started to get quieter, and so I thought, well, maybe there's another road out here. But then, no road, no other road. That turkey vulture waiting for me to die. <laughs> I heard, the noise that I heard was a swarm, I think, of honeybees. And I was very relieved that the sound was not getting louder, but instead getting quieter. A long way from my friends up the road at this point. I'm a little sunburned, not too bad. Got a little bit of cloud cover, but of course I'll still burn through the clouds. I did cover myself in sunblock. Hear the butterflies flying past. Let's light that sucker up. It's a uh, forceps. It's a uh, theatops. Oh wow! See those cool terminals? Yep. How big do they get? That big? I don't know. Actually, oh. actually, sometimes they get really big. Um, I've never seen any of the big ones. There's some people. I think Spider Nerd on Instagram. Might be a guy who collects some of the big theatops down there sometimes. For somebody. Say it again. Since they're tiger beetle mimicking. Yeah, I actually thought they were tiger beetles at first, and I was going to call you over. That yeah. is a hemipteran, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're called something uh, I'll definitely take a few of these for the, uh, for the box. Yeah, they're cool. Good, good eye. It's funny how they're traveling in groups here. Do they not usually? Actually, we do seem to see them. Together frequently. Cicadas going crazy. Lacophilus. Tropostarnus. Little diving beetles? Yeah, pernicious diving beetles. And, well, the Tropostarnus is a hydrophilic water scavenger there. It's a thermonectus right there. Oh, yeah? There he goes. No, oh, it's cemented in. Oh. I thought I had a. It looked like. Yeah, I thought it was just sitting on just top, but it's sitting on the surface. There, what about that smaller one right next to it there? This one? No, right, coming a little closer to me. These ones? Yeah. There's your thermonectus under it. Right there. And there's a frog under it. Oh, yeah, jeez. That rock move? <laughs> yeah, the frogs are getting now. There you go, Chief. Wow. Cool frog. He doesn't seem to be doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Curious. Yeah, poor buddy. No, oh, Tropostaris is still in there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see much of much as a dragonfly larva down there. 
Let's look under this one. Oh, oh, that frog's doing just fine. That was weird. I had a feeling he was messing with us. But you never know until you know. I got all the nodonectids in one spot. Oh, yeah, they are. They don't like me moving the rocks. Ah. Coming up to the surface for a breath of air. He's poking the abdomen right through the tip of the water. Yeah. A little bit of red on these ones. Me. Oh, there's a bigger beetle. Where's it at? In the back left corner, way up here. You got your net? Yeah. See it? No, I don't see it. Oh, over there. Is it just straight black? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want it. Thanks anyway. There's another one down there. Oh, look at that guy. Right there. Oh, yeah. Blending in. What is it? Dragonfly larva. Ooh, oh, a little one. Not too little. Oh, looks okay. like a live balloon, maybe. Mm -hmm. I have a boatload of beetles up under this rock. Oh, that's probably gonna make too much dirt to touch them. Oh, those are veliids. Those little mm -hmm. striders. Yep. Cool. They move a little differently. They do. Their legs are bent a little, little bit. They're a little, little, little whirly gigish. I saw one of those little guys and he was just spinning in a circle like constantly. Mm -hmm. You think something was wrong with him? <laughs> little thunder. Yeah, the storm's brewing right there. A few raindrops. That was kind of nice. You didn't find a water scorpion, Jesse? Nope. What'd you find, John? Oh, I'm just looking at some of the obsidian. Obsidian? Yeah, I found an actual piece of obsidian right there. That definitely doesn't have enough legs to catch my interest. Hey, what about this one? Damn, do you see that? The party down here? The frog just came up and murked oh, somebody. Oh, did it? Oh, oh bummer. You want a little pamp? Huh? What do you got, John? Oh, wow. That's definitely glass. Yeah? Look at, look at the patterning and coloring on these. Yeah, those are... What do you mean? Glass? It's obsidian. Is it obsidian? Yeah, it seems too heavy. Oh, no, obsidian's very heavy. Oh, whoa! That is pretty. That yeah. is beautiful. I've never seen anything oh. like that. You can find more that looks like these. <laughs> wow, look at those. Yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Lost forever. No, that's right here. Let me see. Here, I want to see that little small piece. Oh, yeah. Pocket does. Jeez, what's yeah. going on with that? That's got so many colors in it. Uh, Is there a name for this? I don't know. It's probably just something. Something leached into it while it was being hmm. formed. I think. Here we are, Arizona, the land of grass and rain. Grass. Yeah, yeah. grass. Greenest. That's what Arizona's known for. Actually. The greenest place. That's all being pronounced to wet grass. Oh. Come to Arizona for its waterfalls and its grass. The only place where it's 100 degrees, sunny, and raining at the same time. Gotta love it. Ready for some sandwich? Sure. <laughs> hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.